Peace and welcome to our story time, brought to you by our Niagara Falls Underground Railroad Heritage Center and produced by the Atlanta School for Gifted Youngsters. You know, kids, reading is very important because through books you can learn about yourself and the world around you. Through our story time, we're going to share with you some amazing books, and I know you're going to enjoy today's story. So grab your healthy snacks, sit on back, and enjoy today's story. Hello guys, Kitty here back with another story time. This book is called Before She Was Harriet by Lessa Klein Ransom, illustrated by James E. Ransom. Here she sits, an old woman, tired and worn, her legs stiff, her back achy. But before wrinkles formed and her eyes failed, before she reached her twilight years, she could walk for miles and see clearly under a sky lit with only stars. Before she was an old woman, she was a suffragist, a voice for women who had none in marriages, in courts, in a voting booth. Before her voice became soft and raspy, it was loud and angry, rising above injustice. Before she was a suffragist, she was a general Tupman, rising out of the fog, armed with courage, strong in the face of rebels and planters and overseers, as they watched fields burn and bridges fall and 700 slaves stop chopping and start running to a woman who freed them to freedom on the Combahee River turned River Jordan. Before she was General Putman, she was a Union spy, carrying secrets across battlefields to soldiers, fighting in the Civil War for President Lincoln to end slavery. Before she was a Union spy, she was a nurse, caring for those hate with bullets and hatred and fear, tending to them with bandages and words and the bloodied dirt of southern soil. Before she was a nurse, she was Aunt Harriet, daughter of Ben and Rick, who helped her parents flee the masters and find their way through woods and streams to the safety of Canada and a new home in the north. Before she was Aunt Harriet, she was a Moses, a conductor on an underground railroad with no trains and no tracks, just passengers traveling to freedom up north through swamps, past slave catchers, across rivers, and under the cover of night, seeking the promised land for her people, led by dreams in God and faith, a wisp of woman with the courage of a lion. Before she was a Moses, she was a Minty of Maryland, of one slave owner and then others who worked her, punished her with lashes, broke her back, but not her spirit. Before she was a Minty, she was an Arbimenta, a young girl taught by her father to read the woods and the stars at night, readying for the day. She'd leave behind slavery along with her name and pick a new one, Harriet, and remember her days as a suffragist, as a general, as a spy, as a nurse, as Aunt Harriet, as Moses, as a conductor, as Minty, as Arblamenta, who dreamed of living long enough to one day be old, stiff, and achy, tired and worn, wrinkled and free to the guiding force of all women who have led the way through courage, strength, perseverance, and intelligence. Harriet Tubman, So Junior Truth, Fanny Lou Hammer, Toni Morrison, Michelle Obama,